decade in a day. Something Tony Robbins said the other day, which I thought was absolutely fantastic and needs to be reiterated on this podcast. Decade in a day. You can read a book in a day and get a decade of that author's life. Incredible. Absolutely beautiful. I love my books. I think they're so important. At the minute, I'm reading um, uh, Not Can't Hurt Me, the new one. Oh, I'll find it out. This is really good podcasting, isn't it? Never finished. It is brilliant. David Goggins, what a guy. And I'm reading about his life, about his struggles, about the hardship. A decade, a decade goes into a book. A decade of their life goes into a book. And what happens? We get to devour that in a day sometimes if you want, or certainly within a week. It is wonderful what return on your time you are getting with a book. But it's so underestimated. We're getting somebody's life. I mean, an autobiography, a biography. We're getting somebody's fucking life. All the mistakes they made, all the ins, the outs, the good, the bad, everything. We're getting all that. And we can learn from that knowledge. We can stack that knowledge onto our knowledge. We can learn from their wisdom. And so many people just do not do this. Why? Read a book a week. I know it sounds like a lot. It's okay for you, Dean, because you've got, you've got time, etc. Make time. Read a book on the way to work, on your commute. And the more you read, the more you listen, the more you can you can enhance the experience by by making the time work for you in terms of actually increasing the speed of the of of the book. <laughs> you can do it 1.5. You can do it 1.25. I do it on a book now. It's between depends on the who's reading it, but I can do 2.5 times speed or three times speed depending on who's reading it. And it means I can devour so much more information. You have time on your commute. Everybody's got time, but the only problem is everybody's got excuses as well. You make time for the things that are important to you. And I promise you, reading books is incredibly valuable. It is probably one of the best return on investments, return on time that you can get. Certainly return on investment. Jesus Christ, what is a book? Tenor, whatever it is. Oh, fucking untrue, the amount of knowledge you can get from that. So you can read a book in a day and get a decade of that author's life. Don't underestimate it. Tony Robbins, we salute you, sir. Bye-bye.